Blocks is an awesome team which has lots and lots of hooks for you to use. For example, at the moment you're looking at the WooCommerce single product page, I activated the visual hooks and as you see, those are the hooks here I can use. And I can use them to insert my own content. For example, if I open up the accessories product category, there is a content block that I added and it's only for products in the accessories category. It's not for the products in the lightning category or any other product. As you see, lightning category product is opened up, nothing here. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create the content blocks and show them in a place you want them to be. For example, inside the blog post after every five blocks. The video you see at the moment here is added by using those blocks. You can add the ads here, newsletter, campaigns or whatever you want to use. Also, I'm going to show you how to create a nice looking mobile button bar like this one here. It shows up only on mobiles, stays at the fixed position at the bottom. It's not showing up on the desktops or on the tablets. Now, before we jump in, I have to remind you that Bloxy free version does not have this option. Only Bloxy Pro version has this option. Therefore, if you're interested, then take a look at the description of this video. There is a 10% discount for you. Just click on the link you see, use the 10% discount coupon and you're good to go. Now let's start by adding first of those blocks. Go to Bloxy Content Blocks, add new and choose whether it's a content block. Maybe you want to customize a 404 page template, header template or footer template in the future. At the moment I'm going to choose a custom content hook. I'm going to give it a title, for example, single product list. I'm going to create a template. First, we have to choose a location and priority. As you see, there are lots of positions here. It may be confusing, therefore go to the front page and there is a debug hooks. If you click on show team hooks, you can visually see all the positions here. Header start, WP head, hero title after, hero after, and so on. If you're using the WooCommerce, and you want to use the WooCommerce hooks, then click on show WooCommerce hooks. And there it is. Now I'm going to hide them and I'm going to open up one single product. This one here. I'm going to open up the WooCommerce hooks again. And there's a WooCommerce product meta end. This is a place I'm going to use, or maybe WooCommerce share. This is a position I'm going to use right now. I'm going to search for share. Priority is going to be one. Display conditions. I'm going to set it to WooCommerce single products. So I'm going to show this block only on single products in share position. And now I'm going to add the row here this one and inside it I'm gonna add a list item icon list so I'm using the cadence blocks here but you can use a Gutenberg or any other bl block editor you like I'm gonna add Visa MasterCard PayPal and 30 days money back guarantee I'm gonna open up the block settings here and in individual icons here. I'm going to search for Visa and MasterCard for second icon. Third needs a PayPal icon. This one will have a shield. There you go. I'm going to update it tweak those paddings a bit, update it, I'm going to hide those hooks here, and there you go. This is my content block I just added. Now maybe I want to have this block only for 
lightning category. Therefore, I'm going to tweak this a bit. I'm going to delete the display condition single product here, and I'm going to add a specific post with taxonomy ID. And now I'm going to choose product categories and accessories. So this block will be shown only for accessories products. I'm going to update it and let's see what happens. As you see, this is a lightning product here. No block. But now I'm going to open up the accessories. Open this one up. And there you go. Now let's add another content block here. Add new. And let's give it the title, for example, archive text. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to add text above this here area here. So this is a random text. I'm going to align it. Center location It's going to be WooCommerce archive before shop loop. And display condition include WooCommerce product categories. So I refreshed it and there it is. If I open up the blog posts, nothing. Random page, also nothing. Shop page, no text. But if I open up a product category, there is a random text here. Now let's open up the blog post here. Maybe you're showing ads on your site from AdSense or Ezoic or, or some similar provider and you would like to show the automatic ads after every 10 paragraphs or so. Therefore, let's take a look how to accomplish that. I don't have any AdSense code. Therefore, I'm going to grab a YouTube embed code. This will symbolize the ad I'm going to show on my site. Remove block. Let's add the HTML block here. This symbolizes the ad I'm going to show. Ads on posts. So where we're going to show it. Let's take a look. So single post after certain number of blocks or before certain number of headings. I'm going to select after cer certain number of blocks. After block number five, I'm going to show this one here. Now display conditions, we're going to select single posts. Let's update it and refresh it. And there you go. One, two, three, four, five blocks and this one here. I'm going to edit the post and make it longer so I can show you how to add it somewhere else. So let's view the post, go back here, add another one, add after 10 blocks. Now I'm just paste another add code here. After a certain number of blocks, block number 10, include single post, update it, refresh it. And now this is the first one. And this is the second one here. And this way you can add as many ads or, or information as you like. For example, maybe you would like to add the newsletter subscription box or something similar. And once again, if you want to see the hooks, just show the team hooks. And there you go. These are the positions you can use with the content blocks. Really powerful tool. Now for the last example, I'm going to show you a bit more difficult content block I created. Take a look at the bottom of this screen here. As you see, I have fixed block here with icons for home, mobile phone and email. And it is shown only for mobiles. If I open up the tablet, there is nothing. And if I open up the desktop, also nothing. It is shown only for mobiles in a fixed position down bottom here. So how did I do that? I created a content block using the cadence block, but you can use the Elementor or whatever page builder you would like to use. 
I created a row with a three columns. For the center column, I added a border right and border left. I added an icon here, gave icon a link, home for this one, phone number for this one, and email for this one. Location is footer after, but I can also use the conditionals as I showed you before. Block position is fixed and bottom. I can make it appear on top, but I'm going to show it on bottom and visibility only for mobiles. Now update and there you go. Nice looking contact bottom bar here. But once again, I remind you that you need to have a Bloxy Pro version. Otherwise, it's not possible that the content blocks. So take a look at the description of this video. There is a 10% coupon code for you. Just use it and you'll get the discount from the Bloxy Pro. Now, if you find this tutorial helpful, then press thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Also, before you go, take a look at the next video you see on the screen right now, because it's also full of useful content. Meanwhile, take care.